uh, I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me in front of uh, Masjid Sultan Mosque and we're going to stop this and do it again. I was trying to get some shots but walking around with this, people just want you to take photos of them so I've just been taking photos of people um, in the spot behind me which is a really, really cool spot to take photos. Uh, Alright, hello. I am in Singapore. Back in Singapore, this is my third time here. It's been a while since I'm here, and this is the first time I've actually had a full setup filming. As you saw just before, I was at the um, Sultan Mosque, um, and when I was trying to do an intro to this vlog, uh, it was prayer time, and they were blaring that prayer time, and I could not, um, I could not concentrate. There was so much stimulation happening. There was people everywhere, um, so I couldn't really vlog. I felt embarrassed vlogging because I'm by myself here. Um, and the sun is ridiculously hot today. I was standing in the sun for about half an hour and I had to call it quits and go sit in 7-Eleven for a bit. Um, right now, I don't know where I am. Uh, this place just looked cool to do the intro to my video. It's some like crazy rich Asians looking shit um, behind me. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, I've got three days here. Um, I'm gonna be visiting a lot of friends and I'm gonna try to do a little cinematic vlog. I wanna do a full cinematic video but I don't think three days would do Singapore justice. So I'm just gonna do what I can, explore the city, show you guys around and yeah, we'll go from there and see what happens. Um, but right now, um, I'm on my way to the metro. I'm gonna catch the metro to Chinatown where there's the uh, Buddha Relic Tooth Temple and then Chinatown is some good places to eat around there. So I'm gonna go do that and then hopefully get to Marina Bay Sands and Gardens by the Bay later. Um, it's two o'clock right now, so we'll see how much time I have to do that. If not, I'll do it another day, yeah. So it's actually really nice in Singapore because they have these MRT signs everywhere which tells you where the MRT is um, and if you're someone like me who doesn't have a SIM card or internet this is life-saving so thank you Singapore okay so this has been a long long adventure to get to the domes here in Gardens by the Bay um, I got off at a station called Bayfront which is where you go and you're supposed to walk to them from there but there's a road, so you got Marina Bay Sands here behind me. Let's tilt that up. Um, and there's a road that separates Marina Bay from Gardens by the Bay. And you can only go over it. There's no way to kind of go on ground level across it. So it took me ages because I tried to cross it, then I had to try to go up. Um, but then they said to go to the far end of it to get to the domes. So if you get off the bayfront, walk right through Marina Bay, and you come around and go under the freeway and you get towards the dams. So, yeah, almost there. All right, cool, so I just got in the flower dome. Um, this is a cloud dome, sorry, this is a cloud dome. So you can get entry for two of them. Uh, if you just go to Cloud Dome, it's 20 bucks. If you go to both, it's 28. So why not go to both? Eight dollars extra. Um, when you walk in, there is just there's this huge waterfall. It looks really, really cool, and it's really nice because it's really cool um, compared to the outside temperature. But there's so many people, and they all getting their they all getting their Instagram pics on. So I'm probably not going to stay here long and go up top where. These are probably better, I don't know. But this is really, really cool. So this is the very top, the level seven of the Cloud Dome, and it's quite cool. Um, you can see all the layers down there, and it towers around. I'm waiting for the mist to come out, so I really wanted to see that, but it doesn't look like it is. Um, and I've come around the perfect time. It's around 5 p.m., and the sun's kind of setting up there behind Marina Bay, and it's making some really cool shots, so. Yeah, still heaps to explore. I haven't even explored the other layers. Just came straight up to level seven. Um, heaps of people here, though. Heaps of people. It's kind of very touristy. Oh well. All right. So I'm back on the fourth level here. Um, because the sprinklers came on. Uh, they come on at six o'clock and some other times, I'm not too sure. I just asked the staff and she said, six o'clock and the best place to see them is from the fourth floor. So, it's pretty cool. I thought there would be more hectic and there'd be more mist everywhere, but it looks really cool with the light right now. It's sick. Like, kind of dip behind clouds, but it's hitting the mist. So it's kind of giving it this really like, um, misty look. Yeah. So when my uh, brother was here making a dome video, he did this really cool hyper zoom around the rail. So 
I'm gonna do a bigger one just to beat him and just to uh, rub it in his face. So watch this. Finally in the Flower Dome. It's been way too long in the Bad Forest because it's actually really, really cool. Um, they don't just have like the bit you can walk around, but there's like educational sections. It's even a cave section um, and all this other cool stuff. You can really spend half a day there. But um, I had to rush because I need to see the Flower Dome before I go for dinner. But yeah, let's look at some flowers. up in the uh, flower dome uh, it was okay cloud forest is way better so if you do both go to the flower dome first then cloud forest so you can pet it to them it's a way better experience um, right now I'm walking back to the metro to go home and call it a day um, I'm walking across this bridge and the view of the city is amazing so I had to stop quickly and do a cool time-lapse um, yeah and a lot of people ask me how how I do time lapses, Sony now has a, uh, an update which is called interval mode. Um, you can go and click that on and put it on however many seconds. Uh, usually I try to get around a one second uh, shutter speed to get the blur of the traffic or anything that's moving. Um, to do that you need an ND filter and you need to turn it really dark until uh, you get it to one second. Also, in saying that you have to have your dial here on the A which is aperture priority. Um, so make sure you have that then adjust the ND filter and you'll see the shutter speed move until you get it to how you want. But yeah, experiment with that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so cool. Oh, cheers, yeah. Because I have big hair. On day two in Singapore, I caught up with my two friends Anne and Elias and headed out for a day trip to an island called Palau Ubin. On the island, we hired some bikes for about 10 Singaporean Rent dollars. Then we spent the day riding around checking yeah, out Singapore's on. nature side. So there's heaps of these wild boars around the island and you can find them when you're riding around. Right now there's like a whole family, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, we'll zoom in there. Can you see him? There's two there, just like, one's like cleaning the other one, unless that's dead. Hello. But yeah, it's pretty cool. We've seen some wild boars, we've seen some monkeys. We've got some cool close-up shots with the 55. I put it in 4K so I can zoom in in post so it looks closer than it is. Um, these ones are really friendly. The first ones we saw weren't very friendly. They just kind of ran off into the bushes. But these ones have come up and they're eating like these little seeds that fall on the ground in these shells. So I was hand feeding them before um, the seeds that come out of these shells. So yeah, pretty cool. Today we've decided to venture a bit out of the city, um, Singapore main city centre, um, up north a bit to Palau Ubin, which um, tell, tell me how to, like, post. my lovely local friend here, Elias, and Anne, who just has been living here for the last month, um, know it very well. He lives right nearby here, so he said, do you want to come for a trip to Palau Ubin? I was like, sounds amazing. So yeah, you can catch a train here. And then a bus, then a ferry, it takes about an hour and a half. Really easy to do though. Um, and it's really, really cool. So what you do is you get to the island and you literally hire a bike and you just ride around the island all day on a bike. Um, and they've got a bunch of old quarries which they've filled in water as you can see behind us. And on the way there's heaps of monkeys and boars and heaps of nature. So yeah, really, really nice change up from the city um, to get out in some of Singapore's nature stuff which I don't really see much of. I don't really see much of people going into the nature. So, what do you guys think? What up? Hi, Jamie. Hi, hi, the internet. Hi, internet. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I didn't get them to talk in my. <laughs> cool. So right now it's like so I think it's like five o'clock you know and the I sun's kind of dipping. We're well, unfortunately not going to be here for sunset because no? other engagements. But um, this is like a perfect time I reckon to fly my drone through here and get some really cool shots of like the sun coming off the water. It looks really nice. I'm gonna try capture the nature stuff, so we'll see how that goes on the drone. Yeah. 
It is day three here in Singapore and I have spent the afternoon at the uh, Buddha Tooth Relic Temple Buddha Tooth Relic Temple which is in Chinatown really really beautiful temple I got there um, around uh, when there was a mass or everyone was praying I don't know what you call it but um, yeah it was really cool to see uh, heaps of uh, monks there and people praying so I made some cool 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 shots right now there's a massive thunderstorm coming which sucks because I was hoping to get Marina Bay and stuff at sunset and fly the drone around. Um, so now I'm rushing to try to beat that. Let's go meet a friend for an afternoon coffee. Um, this day's been really slow. I've been, um, I think I got heat stroke or something. Oh, I was really sick the last two days. Um, having like, what do you call it, fever and I couldn't sleep. It's hence why I got this, borrowed my friend's bucket hat to try keep the sun away. But uh, today there's not many, not much sun because of the thunderstorm. But uh, yesterday this helped a lot. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do this afternoon. Hopefully the storm clears up before sunset. By the bay the thunderstorm cleared up fantastic but um there was no sunset so me with elias at night he just finished work and we went to the light show at 7 30 which was pretty cool um he's lived in singapore his whole life never seen it i mean like why would i go to gardens by the bay <laughs> doesn't make sense to me um but right now it's 8 45 and the second light show is starting so there's two um and we were just flying our drone around no no i wasn't flying the drone actually it's a I don't know if it's illegal or not, so I'm going to use some stock footage <laughs> in my video instead. Jamie, Jamie, some Jamie. stock footage. Um, yeah, now we're going to go eat and then I go to the airport and that's it. So this is what goes down in Singaporean mall. So it's trying to be like a Venice, but then here's the Vietnamese hat, so it's like a oh. hat. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Uh, you were trying to be her. <laughs> Fusion. 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 East meets west. East meets west. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so right now I have about an hour before my flight. Tried to get to the airport a little bit earlier so I could check out this new masterpiece they have at Chang Airport called the Jewel. Um, which is like this giant waterfall feature with this forest surrounding it. Um, and it's actually really, really cool. Like I thought it would just be the waterfall, but like surrounding it's all these levels you can go up to uh, with all these water features and all these plants and they're like real plants so um yeah i'm just gonna quickly try to take some videos and photos here here it is here damn this is what the forest looks like so it's like an insane new feature it's really cool and you got this uh the bridge that connects the two terminals, the train you get on, goes right across uh, behind the jewel. Uh, makes for some really, really cool photos and stuff. So I'm rushing now to really run around and just take some videos of it. Um, yeah, mainly I just wanted to see it with my own eyes. And yeah, I'm impressed. 